All right, welcome back. I'm going to be painting this club car golf cart. These are the panels that were uh, removed from the golf cart by a buddy of mine who I did a wall mural for in the past, uh, about a year and a half ago. So now he got this golf cart. It's a six seater. It's one of the long stretched ones, and I'm going to do a custom paint job. So you can see here next, I did some concept sketches of what I thought my idea would look like. Some wood grain, some red pinstriping. Uh, and the blue will actually be a lot brighter than this. Let's go.
Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a, a red pinstripe on the on the top and the bottom of the wood to kind of frame that in a little bit. And then I'm gonna be doing the same same thing on this other panel. And that goes all the way around as well. And then on the hood panel, which is outside, just primered right now, I'm gonna do some wood grain on the on the top center of it as well. And everything will get outlined with some red pinstriping. Golf cart painting. That light looks so good against that metal. Anyways. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me now. Trying some new wood grain techniques. Still a little wet. Ooh, boy. Oh man.
Alright, so this is just uh, Rust Oleum two times paint. It's the one with the 2X on it. Uh, then a little bit of Montana graffiti mural paint that's a transparent black. Just to get some darker tones. And then um, just some wood stain of whatever choice, or I'm sorry, whatever color, darkness that you want. I think the one I got is mahogany. Um, when you layer it on there, you can see the paint's bubbling up because of the humidity. Um, you don't really notice it. I'm going to go in with some black lines to add a little bit more detail, and maybe I can cover those up with some of that. Uh, so we're going to let this dry. It's going to take a little while because it's wood stain, so it's an oil-based. Um, I've never clear coated over this stuff with the 2K Clear. But the 2K Clear is like an automotive finish with a hardener in it. So, I'm thinking it's going to work once the oil-based paint is dry. I don't know though. We'll, we'll, we'll test it out. I, I may have to redo all this. I don't know yet. But uh, everything's an experiment. So, learning as I go. But it's looking kind of cool. See ya. For some of the final little details, I'm going to be doing a, a red pinstripe, and that is going to go uh, off of the on the outside of the wood grain. I'm going to be also using this black pinstripe, and this is going to go right on the edge of the wood. Alright, so this panel is completely done. It's got the wood grain. Everything's clear coated, protected very nice. Got the black pinstripe just to kind of frame that wood in. And then the red accent stripe going the whole way around. Really loving this. Yeah. Alright, on to the next one. This one came all the way back around the fender. Not sure if I like that not being squared off by red as well, but I'm gonna run with it. Love how it looks. Now this is just a preview of what's gonna be painted on the side of the dog. I'm gonna hand paint all the wood grain on the side, give it that old school woody look, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this, the same pinstriping on the top and bottom of it because I'm really loving it. Look at that, the light matches. <laughs> all right, now. Just gonna go ahead and do it on the hood piece here uh, in the morning and then uh, deliver these to my buddy and he's gonna put them back on his cart which is currently getting an air ride suspension put on it at the moment and uh, a couple other things so as soon as i get a final video of it all put back together i will show that because this thing is gonna look killer